Hello everyone. With this sub module, I want to give you another tool that you can use to understand academic procrastination and avoid it. So we will be talking about self-regulation and ACT, acceptance and commitment therapy. So first of all, with self-regulation, as we saw in the previous module, there is Zimmerman's three-phase model, which which includes self-reflection, forethought and performance where self-reflection is where you do self-judgment or third part is where you do task analysis maybe you are scheduling self-motivation belief and uh, ch check your efficacy or and the performance phase is where you control show your control you observe environment and you stay engaged what is ACT A is for accept your reactions and be present C is for commitment and P stands for therapy or treatment. It's a therapy provided by many psychotherapists around the world and it is com it com comes from some of the Buddhist teachings and Eastern ideas on accepting things the way things are, the, the way everything is and accepting your thoughts and accepting your environment and not just doing that, but committing to get the work done, committing towards your tasks. So a little more about ACT and procrastination. So some of the studies say that procrastination is a result of at least four explanatory factors. It's a tendency to avoid uncomfortable emotions or states, for example, stress, performance, anxiety, boredom associated with study related tasks. Think of yourself when you are in a classroom and you feel like pulling out your phone or you're talking to someone who is not very interesting and you feel like looking at your phone at your screen and see if there is another message. So boredom causes that. A difficulty in identifying academic values and setting short term and long term goals. Why someone procrastinates doing things? Because they are not able to identify that it's a valuable thing to get things done and keep pacing yourself every day to get things done. There could be a presence of negative thoughts related to the task and tendency to find excuses to delay the work. Oh, I have a weekend. I'll do thing. I'll do this on weekend. I'll do it next week. I'll do it end of the month. And a difficulty to focus on present moments that also causes someone to procrastinate. So let's talk about acceptance. So as someone said, acceptance is the road to all change. What is acceptance? Let's sink into this. Thing. It's about accepting oneself completely. Let the feelings or thoughts happen. Observe weaknesses, but take note of your strengths. Permit yourself to not excel at everything. It's okay to not get an A plus in every course you take. Acknowledge difficulties without avoidance. And realize your ability to control your reactions, your thoughts and your feelings. It's about learning to breathe and learn to let things be the way they are. What is committed action then? From past research, we know that procrastination was related to higher levels of psychological inflexibility and low levels of committed action. So committed action was found to be add incremental variance in the prediction of academic procrastination over and above variables such as psychological distress and psychological inflexibility. What is commitment? So committed action is one of the core processes of ACT and is psychological flexibility and is defined as flexible persistence in actions that are in harmony with one's values 
even in the presence of psychological obstacles. Within the ACT framework, committed action is conceptualized as the opposite of impulsive behaviors. So you just sat down to study and then thought comes to your head that, oh, let me uh, check mess some message. Let me check my emails or let me see what my friend is up to on Facebook or uh, let me go grab a coffee or let me go ahead and have some fried food or something like that. Anything that stops you from studying. You sat down and you want to do something else or working. So understanding those obstacles that we, we bring in into our environment with our desires and uh, not paying attention to it, but committing to the work is what is important. And uh, by and by, as you get used to this kind of practice, you will see that success comes pretty easily and you will be able to do well in your studies. These are some of the course uh, papers that I have uh, taken ideas from how someone can use acceptance and mindfulness to reduce procrastination. A couple of studies that I'm mentioning come from a Canadian university called UQTR. And uh, I, the model I've used comes from Barry Zimmerman's paper called Social Cognitive View of Self-Regulated and Academic Learning. I hope you enjoyed this talk. If you have any questions about it, Please do reach out to me. Thank you and take care. Bye.